deployed across the country for the ongoing COVID-19 vaccination process. Now, the Select Committee on Education, Training and ICT presented reports on the National Accreditation and Quality Assurance Authority Bill before lawmakers on Tuesday. The bill was first moved by the Minister of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology in November 2020. Alajimbao tabled the NACA bill, which highlights 50% Gambia ownership, share of private institutions and financial viability of institutions before they are allowed to operate, among others. Omar Ahmed Toure tells us more. The member for Central Badibu, Suleiman Saho, describes education as the base for meaningful development and believes the bill will improve standards in education and stops the exorbitance in it. We want education to be of quality. An education that citizens can benefit from. An education that will promote economic growth and sustainable livelihoods. Honorable Speaker, institutions should not be established to rob our poor people. In the sense, there are no regulations. Parents will pay a high sum of money. At the end of the day, quality is compromised. Sekumarong of Latikunda Sabeji argues that it is prompt for these reports to be debated upon since notification is too short, adding that longer time is needed to scrutinize the report before a decision is taken. At least we should have this report 24 hours. It should be given to the members 24 hours before the election in the parliament. It's important. Well, you cannot just jump rows and give us five, six reports, debate it, pass it. And then how are we doing this? We are all in the haste to do these things. You just on one, two pages. Who will tell me that you understand from the first page to the last page that the committee uh, I just uh, report to us? No. And this is not the only report that is given to us. There is another report given to us. We're going to debate on them and enforce it. I don't really think that... Usman Silla of Banjul North suggests for the quality assurance body to also monitor the audit reports of tertiary institutions. That uh, it is important for NACA to also know how those institutions are managed so we can do as a requirement for all these institutions to be providing to NACA their annual audited accounts just for them to be in the know since they are talking about well their task is to regulate the operations of these institutions the National Accreditation and Quality Assurance Authority is responsible for the registration and licensing of all skills training centers and higher educational institutions in the country. Parts of its mandate include vetting training programs offered at any post-secondary educational institutions. For iAfrica TV, I am Omar Ahmad Toure. Naka table built before parliamentarians.